to have C8. So tell me a little about yourself. Without your family, without the same thing, have you been back yeah. home? Yeah. Did you go home for the holidays? For the oh, last summer was the last time you went home. Um, do you have a sponsored family? You know, since you're an international student, a lot of times they have sponsored families. Oh. Okay. That's. Do you like being in the states? Is it different? A little bit. Yeah, I would imagine it would be. I mean, I'm sure that if I went to Canada, I would feel as though it was very, very different. So, yeah. um, although the national language of Ghana is English, correct? So there's not a, you're not having any of that kind of issue, issue right? Okay. Um, so how did you come to choose Jacksonville University? together, I was going to say, because, you know, liking kids means you could be an elementary school teacher. There are lots of things you could do with children that are not health-related, and if you certainly want health-related, you can still be a pediatrician, but pediatric neurologist, do you realize you're going to be in school for a really long time, a really long time? I hope you like school. Um, <laughs> so, um, Actually, yeah, let, let's talk a little bit about, about school and what you've done so far. You're, you're fairly early in your academic career at this point. Um, you say here that you've taken uh, botany and zoology and molecular biology. So is that an introduction to molecular biology? You're taking that one right now. So you've also had uh, an intro bio course as well. Okay. What about chemistry, physics, any of those kinds of things? you've completed. You're not taking organic now. Okay, you're not taking physics now. All right. Um, what about mathematics? Calc 1 and 2. What does math have to So why did you take business math after taking calculus 1 and 2? Why? You didn't know. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's that's an unusual choice. Um, usually that's the calculus that the folks in the College of Business would take, right? All right. Yeah, usually um, prior to calculus, you would take pre-calculus math 110. All right. Um, so this internship doesn't seem to connect very well to your long-term career goals. So tell me why. Why are you interested in this internship?
retire from being a, being a pediatric neurologist, you'll you know, go into botany or, or at least amateur gardening or something like that. Okay, all right. Um, so, I, well, that's interesting. You know, that a lot of um, pharmaceuticals come from plants. And that uh, nutrition uh, would be fairly important in child brain development. And so, potentially, you could make the connection with an agricultural science. If you can breed plants that have more nutrients, particularly in a way that's less expensive, so that individuals in um, areas where it's hard to get those nutrients or where food is not as available, um, even, even um, less well-advantaged individuals in the United States have trouble getting high-nutrient food. Um, that, that might be very important, so something to think about. Um, so what attracted you to our opportunity since it doesn't directly connect, and you, you've got an interest in botany, but, but, but why, what made you think about doing this? So an opportunity to do something different. Okay. Um, all right. So let me ask you a couple more things about your resume. You have down here that you did. Um, you were a public relations assistant, right, for the Nexus Group. Is that how you pronounce that? Uh, where is that? Okay. So is that in Ghana? Okay. Was that a paid position or was that a volunteer position? You just you were helping out, okay. So you, um, what does the Nexus Group do? I'm not familiar with them. So. Okay. <coughs> okay. Okay. So one of the companies has to do with. Hotels. Okay. So it's a. Is it in general a hospitality group or hotels, restaurants, that kind of stuff? Tourism. Okay. Is there a reason that you decided not to go into the family business? I'm just curious. I mean, I, I just, I'm just curious, you know, it's entirely possible that you would have said, yeah, I've done this for my dad for several years, and yeah, there's just no way I want to do it for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, so you designed advertisements, print advertisements, uh, like in magazines or radio spots, or what did you do? Independent project. 
So it was your project. Everybody in the class had to do a different project. Is that the way it worked? Okay. What did you find out? And you needed to do a research project for that because I think that that's mostly what we what we assume. So was there something else about the research? So what did you do to determine this? Ah, okay. I'm assuming that one died. Um, but so the difference really was sunlight versus the light bulb. Your GPA is, is pretty good, um, although you haven't taken very many classes yet. Um, what's been your hardest class? Humanities. Humanities, why? want you to be a doctor? They do? Yeah. They, okay. Um, would they be happy if you went into the family business? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I was just curious, you know. I mean, sometimes parents, you know, don't want their offspring to go into the family business. So, um, what questions do you have for me? No questions? Okay, well, um, I think that we have several other people to interview. 